Martha. What are you, are you oh, shopping? Hello, Jean. You're never shopping. No, I'm not, Possum. I'm just getting a few little things to tuck into the Christmas stocking for those unexpected people who pop up. Used to be bath salts in the olden days, didn't it? But I find a bit of niv or body scrub. It's very handy. Of course, you need it, don't you, for hot climate. On... Is it true you have it about 90 degrees or something on Christmas Day? Oh, it can get a little warm in Australia. But I, I suppose in old Palestine, mm. when the first Christmas happened many moons ago, it was probably quite warm, don't you think? Yes, but, I mean, they didn't have to eat Christmas pudding then. Well, I don't know. We don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us that, does it, Jean? And the wise men came originally from Australia. Did you know the wise men from the East were Aborigines viewers? <laughs> well, they were. Bearing, I suppose, Nivea cream and oil of Ule would be the equivalent of frankincense and myrrh in those days. It's possible, isn't it, Jean? Selfridges had the glittering idea of asking people of the 80s to turn their windows into personal Christmas cards. In mine, there's Scrooge and a spitting fire, a comment maybe on my character. So what about the rest? There are no Muppets. The Muppets didn't do any windows, did they? Or the Abba, or Frankie Lane, or Johnny Ray. Essentially people of the 80s. I'm not wild about one thing in your window. It's that, uh, funnel web spider. Isn't it like... creepy and horrible? I mean, do you have them? Like, sort of, all around? Not as many as that. But we've tried to show in my window the typical Australian Christmas, and it's not Christmas without a fatality from a funnel web spider. They come creeping out on the beach, you know where the sharks leave off, the funnel webs take over. But they're comparatively harmless. They're only fatal if they I bite you. I thought killed you. Uh, I'll say that again, Jean. Oh, I'm sorry. They're only fatal if they bite you. Otherwise, they're completely harmless, darling. He's bigger than action, mate. We all know what these shining-faced kids are asking, Father Christmas, but shuffling slowly through the fairy grotto, what question drifts through the grown-up's mind? Well, does Father Christmas have any sex life? Well, it has the Pope. What are you giving Norm for Christmas? It, as I say, he's a very hard person to buy for. I'd thought of getting him a new little kidney bowl. He loves kidneys. But uh, then I thought, well, I thought of getting him a little musk oil aftershave. Is he in the hossie? He's in the hossie. But, of course, aftershave, you know, aftershaving lotion is quite important because they shave him before every operation. And it's not a bad idea to sprinkle something nice and sweet-smelling in his little crevices, is it? What stage is he at at the moment? I mean, is he all right? <coughs> well, uh, all I can say is that he, he's not coming home for a while. I wish I wasn't smiling when I said that. But I suppose it's good news, really, isn't it? Because he'd be so spoiled at Christmas time, you know. He's on this machine. It's got all these coloured lights on it. They don't even have a Christmas tree in the terminal ward. All they do... Well, it's not terminal, of course. I haven't told him that. But, I mean, he's there, and all they do is turn off all the lights, and his machine winks at the end of the ward. They hang presents on it and things. It's gorgeous. It's like a kind of technological Christmas tree. That's the chocolate, you know. Oh, is it? How do yeah. I get up and get that, Jean? No, no, it's looking into your basket, my oh, dear. Oh, it's not what you lifted. People don't steal it. Oh, it's yeah. like an old Dalek, isn't it, looking down on us viewers? <laughs> oh, viewers, a Merry <coughs> Christmas, and this is gorgeous Dame Edna and Jean Rook, all on her own, trusted, by the way, to roam the racks of an Oxford Street store exactly after closing that. time. Aren't we lucky? They'll be frisking us when we leave. I bet you'll let you loose in the Kashmir and Tweed department, you little county type. However, wishing you all everything you'd wish yourselves. I must say that Jean Rock viewers is a very close friend of my family. In fact, you're almost like one of us. No. You look like one of us, as a matter of fact, Jean. Lovely skin, comparatively well-preserved woman. <coughs> and your opals are Australia's own. They are Australian. Australian. Some people think they're unlucky, but they couldn't be on Jean Rook. One of the luckiest and most successful women, apart from myself. I've reached deity status. Did you know that? No, is that new? Me and Joan Sutherland, we're almost deities. We're not even megastars anymore. Poor old move-over Barry Manilow. <laughs> <laughs>